Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with me. If you haven't joined me before, I'm Nikki and I am helping you sew things for your friends and family. Today, we are going to make a crossbody bag. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, have the inside pocket there with the magnetic snap. Okay. And then we already looked inside. We have the inside zipper. Okay. Inside pocket. And then we have this pocket. It's deep enough where you can put a phone, you can put different things in there. So you cannot stick a book in there unless you have a small little book. But, and there you are. If you want to make a little um, matching like debit card holder, something or a zipper pouch to go on, um, maybe to go on the outside of it so that it matches. <laughs> something cool and simple to have, okay? Let's get started. Home decor fabric today. It's a little tougher, um, but I like it because it's thicker, it's sturdier, and um, it's actually easier to clean if you need to spot clean it. <laughs> so that's what I'm using today. You can use Decoville like this for your... Um, you can use Decoville like this for your interfacing or fusible fleece. I'm going to use fusible fleece. Okay, so I'm just going to prep um, my sides right now. Um, prep my material, the outer fabrics. This is going to be the main body of the bag, you know, the outer pieces. And all I've done right now is um, I've taken that glue part um, that we know that when we touch it, it's bubbly. Um, I'm adhering it to the wrong side of the outer fabric. So, all right. That's good. Now that we've done that, I'm going to set these to the side for a moment. We'll grab them up. We'll pick them back up in just a few moments. Grab that long strap that you have, the long strip. Um, and what we're going to do is prepare this for the strap. So all I'm going to do in order to do that, I'm going to switch my mats here. For those of you who have been with me, did you guys notice? I got a larger mat from Santa. <laughs> okay, so um, what I'm going to do now to prepare the strap, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, um, it's the same as creating tabs or like the inner key change or something. All I'm doing is I'm folding the fabrics in so that the raw edges meet each other right now. And I want to get a small... It does not need to be creased. We just want to um, fold this over and iron it a little bit to hold it down so we'll be able to see that line in the middle. So don't think you need to hold your iron there for a long time to press it. Nope, don't worry about that. This is good enough for me right here. Okay. I'm gonna set this to the side. We're gonna pick this back up in a moment, but just because um, I have the iron already here, I just wanna um, um, go ahead and prep some other things. <laughs> this right here, the longer piece, okay? So it's longer than your outer piece right here. Go ahead and grab this piece. This is going to be for the outer pocket. Now, if you are using um, home decor, if you're using, I'm using, um, like I said, the outside fabric, 
outdoor fabric, okay, which is good for like pillows, um, you know, things like that. I do not need to line this because it's thick enough, okay? If you're using home decor or cotton, go ahead and put some interface on it. I don't need to put interface on this, so I'm not going to, okay, because it's thick enough. What I'm doing is I'm ironing it right now. I want to get a crease because this is going to go on the outside of the pocket here, okay? But what I want to do in order to prepare this, um, I want to prepare the snap portion. So I need to put um, some interface right here. Hold on, let's do this. I want to fold it over just so I can figure out where the middle is. Okay. All right. So I know where the middle of my bag is. The middle of the pocket. <laughs> I'm going to fold this over so I know where the middle of this is. I mean, this one, this doesn't really matter. But um, I want to adhere the glue part inside right here. Um, right just where I know where the middle of the bag is. Okay. This is going to, the reason we're putting this interface here, it's going to support the magnetic side um, the snap that we're putting onto the pocket. Okay, so when this sits right here, right, you won't see that interface, but it's going to help every time. Um, let me get this right here. It's going to help so that every time you open and close this pocket, it's giving the fabric a little extra support so it's not being pulled. Okay. So now that we, since we're working with this, go ahead and get um, the portion of your snap right here. You're still going to need your iron, <laughs> okay? Right in the middle, okay, just so that you can see. Again, I'm gonna fold this over. We wanna find the middle of the bag, the middle of the pocket, right? Which will be the middle of the bag. And I have the line here. And what I wanna do is, I wanna place one of the circles there. And I want to mark where the middle of, um, I wanna mark this here so I know where I'm actually putting my, um, where I'm actually putting my snap piece at. I'm going to mark inside of here, inside of the lines, and where the dot is. Okay. I'm going to get my seam ripper. All right. Use my seam ripper to just put a little hole, puncture a little hole there. Okay. And at this point, I want to take my snap from that side, the inside of the bag, okay, and put it right there. This is the piece putting the backing on top. This is the piece that we do not want people to see. Okay, and I'm just pushing it down. All right. So this is the inside of the pocket right there. Okay, that's what this is what we've accomplished right now. Okay, so here's the outside of the pocket. We're going to top stitch it, but that's the outside of the pocket. Okay, and the snap is going to connect to the other portion of the piece that we're going to work with right now. Okay, I'm pushing a hole right here because sometimes what I like to do is just for it to give me that idea where the middle is. Okay. That's what I'm doing right here. Go ahead and grab the other flat portion. Let's see if I can see the hole. I can see it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna mark this, do it the same way for the opposite piece. What is that? Let's get those off of there. <laughs> All right, marking here. Oh, it doesn't wanna mark. All right, well, that's interesting. Let me get, um, 
Hold on, guys. Just grabbing something to mark with. Where's my pen? Guys, my room is so clean and it's... Oh, here it is. Right here. Duh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I was waiting on the draw. Okay, so I'm marking this side the same way I did the other side of the magnetic clasp. Okay. And going to use this to create the seam ripper, pushing it in just a tad, making a tad hole. Okay. See what we want to do? We want to create it so that when we put this piece here, where did I put the holes? <laughs> there they are. All right. That sits there. I'm not going to iron this portion on because it already has the support of the bag of the feasible fleece here. You can go ahead if you need to, depending on if you're using Pelon 809, which is not thick enough, um, you can go ahead and um, put another supportive piece on. Okay, and I'm bending that the same way I did. So look what we have here. Okay, this is what we have. All right. All right, so we're done with that. All right, let's go ahead and take this off. I want you to sew right across about an eighth of an inch. I'm going to flatten this a little bit more just because I'm using a thicker fab fabric. And um, I mean, it's good for this type of project, <laughs> but um, I like to be able to see um, I like to be able to see it bend it. Um, okay, so go ahead and sew about one eighth of an inch. We're just putting the top stitch right across the bag, right across the top of the pocket. to see if I like the way that's digging in the stitches. Okay. All right. So that's how we do that for the outside pocket. Okay. Um, I'm going to set these pieces to the side for a moment. And we are going to, um, you know what? Let's grab the straps back. Okay. What we want to do on both sides we want to sew close to the edge so that we are um, putting finishing touches on both sides of these. At this point, you shouldn't have to pin this, okay, because they're laying flat together. The goal for this is that all we want to do is close these um, nice folded edges. We want to close them towards each other so that we can finish the strap off. All right, go ahead, all the way down both sides, the left and the right. Start off with the part um, with the part of the fabric that opens. Okay. All right, here we go. This might take you a while. Because of the long strap. to the side okay now what we want to do let's see is this my this is my pocket right let's see okay grab one piece of the inner lining okay and I'm going to grab one piece of the inner pocket lining okay let's see this is my that's my pretty side <laughs> Let's see my pretty side. Sometimes they look so alike that 
I love solids, but it's sometimes it's probably easier to use pattern. Okay, this is my pretty side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what we want to do is put your pretty side of the pocket, um, the pocket fabric face down to the pretty side of, um, of your inner lining. I'm going to put this down about one and a half inch. Oh, look at that. Perfect. One and a half inches down. Oh, that's right where I got it. Okay. Here we go. Let me get the pencil for you guys because I know I'm using black on black. All right. This part needs to come down a little because it was lopsided. <laughs> okay. Let me find the middle of my fabric by folding this over. What we're going to do right now is we're prepping for the zipper. For the zipper for the inside pocket okay this is going to help to make sure that we get the zipper evenly lined you know lined up evenly okay I did good <laughs> let me just make sure I have it at one and a half inches I'm just gonna mark first marking at one and a half inches down so that this is, I know this is where I'm going to place the fabric. Okay. Here's my middle. And I know that because I'm lined, I've lined it up. Okay. So now what I would like to do, the reason we're leaving one and a half inches is because approximately half, anywhere between a quarter of an inch to a half an inch, this is going to be your seam allowance for the top of the bag, okay? And then we are going to um, insert the zipper so that it lies around right here so that when you actually dig in the bag, you know, you are touching the zipper about um, one and a half inches down. I'll lift that up a tiny bit. So let's work it at one inch. Okay. Um, so from your lining fabric, we are going to mark a line, one inch, one inch down. Okay. All right, I'm going to draw a line. Now you might be wondering, well, how do you know how long you are doing your zipper? I, how long you're doing a line? I love to use zippers that are way longer than the pocket that I'm actually making and then I just cut it. So, but um, if you have smaller zippers that you're using, just make sure that you measure your lines according to the zipper size that you need, okay? All right, and so now at this point, I'm going to make a line. I'm going to, I'm going to mark where I want the zipper to lie in between. I want the zipper, so I'm actually marking um, half an inch down. Okay. I'm basically creating just a rectangle. The rectangle that I want to see, um, that I want to see the zipper inside of. Okay, that's where I want to see these zipper teeth lie inside of. And now I want to find the middle of these of this rectangle. And so all I'm doing is I'm putting the bottom line, this bottom line, I'm lining it up right with these, with the quarter inch line, just so I can find out where the middle is and mark. I have a few videos where I've done... Um, where I have used this method. So you can just go ahead and if you need to review it again, you can go ahead. Um, we're drawing, we're drawing the, tri the triangles. We're drawing the triangles here because um, this is the fabric you'll see in a moment. That's the fabric that we are need, we're going to need to iron back. What we're going to do right now is we're going to sew right around the rectangle lines, right around the outside, right on top. This is what's going to 
um, hold the zipper. I'm grabbing my seam ripper and <laughs> I'm going to just create a hole right here in the middle on that line right there and then I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut straight down this line right to the tip of the triangle I'm cutting on the triangular lines but I'm not going through my stitching there I'm going to do the same thing to the other side I'm gonna continue cutting down I'm just thinking these little snippers these scissors are from my embroidery machine and they are my absolute favorite I love these things they're so sharp because it's to take off the stitches from the back of the embroidery. Okay, all right, so we did that. Now what we wanna do is we wanna take this fabric and we wanna tuck it right inside um, of that hole because this is going to become the pocket. Okay, all right. So flip it over and right now all we want to do is adjust this. I know it seems kind of weird but all we're doing is pulling out this fabric okay so that the pocket lining which is this is on the opposite side. Okay grab your iron. This is going to look a lot better in just a moment. <laughs> This is always so hard to describe. <laughs> okay. And you guys know I'm not a professional. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So at this point, we want to flatten this because flattening it makes everything look good. Okay. I'm going to apply that iron here, the heat, so that it... Um, can give us a nice, a nice, um, a nice seamed edge. That's my um, marking pen. When I wipe it, it's going to go away. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to grab your, um, oh, let me just show you something if you haven't um, learned how to put a zipper on before. The reason we cut that triangle right here is because the triangle was going to force the fabric back. That's why we wanted to cut the triangle to snip it so that it forced back this portion of the fabric. Okay. What we're going to do at this time, we're going to um, get ready to apply the zipper. I'm going to turn it upside down so that you guys can see it. I'm using double-sided tape. If you don't have double-sided tape, Go ahead and use um use a glue stick <laughs> um, for this if you need to. The idea is we want to put this zipper inside right here into this um, hole that's open. Okay, that's what we want to do. That's the goal here. Okay, so however you think um, we want to pull the zipper in of course, um, so that it's a usable zipper. However you think that you need to apply this um, in order to get the zipper to stay in one place while you sew, go ahead and use that method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, double-sided tape right here 
on the tip of my zipper. I don't need it the whole way. I just want it to go on a little bit onto the um, onto the zipper fabric. I need to peel this off. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to use that to help keep that fabric in place right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom part of that zipper there on this side. I'm going to pull this a little bit. All right. Just grabbing another piece. And if you don't have double tape, double sided tape, like I said, go ahead. You can just apply, um, you can just apply the glue stick, um, the Elmer's glue <laughs> on the end. Not Elmer's glue, but the glue stick. You don't want the wet, wet glue. Okay. And get this um, double stick tape from the Dollar Tree instead of getting it in the Notion section. <laughs> so. Every little bit that you save, you get to use on fabric. Yes, that's right. Okay. All right, so we're ready to finish up this zipper. What we wanna do right now, um, we want to go ahead and we are going to sew around this rectangle all the way around, okay? Being, see this right here? That little portion right there? Make sure that you guys actually pull the um, zipper from under, I mean, pull the fabric down from underneath so that you end up not seeing that when you sew, okay? So we're gonna sew all the way around, um, very close to the edge um, to attach that zipper, okay? You definitely wanna make sure that you're using um, coordinating uh, thread because you will see this. <laughs> if you need to stop to move your zipper, um, make sure you stop when your needle is down. Lift the zipper, not lift the zipper, pull the zipper, and um, go ahead and continue sewing. I'm just going to pull down that little portion before um, that I told you that we want to make sure. There we go. I'm going to move my zipper back again. Now, if you, you are using the um, all-purpose zippers, um, which are actually my favorite, um, go ahead and you can sew right over those. You just want to make sure that um, you have pulled your zipper inside of that rectangle, okay? Otherwise, you won't be able to use that zipper, okay? So right now, I'm totally happy and satisfied with the way that that looks. I'm going to just flip this over and I'm going to cut my zipper now. I don't need all of this any longer. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here, cutting it close. Now go ahead, grab the other portion of your um, of your zipper, line it up, and pin. And we are going to attach um, this pocket on. Let me grab the top. Okay. So what we're going to do at this point you are going to be closing up 
the hole that's inside of here, okay? So what you need to do, okay, you're going to be holding this down, moving this portion of the fabric out of your way when you sew, okay? You're going to go around your raw edges, move this bottom layer out of the way, okay? Move it up. Don't mind my stragglies. <laughs> Um, move it out of the way and you only want to be concerned with the raw edges of the pocket okay so all the way around we're not leaving any openings at all okay I'm gonna move that out the way and you can start anywhere you'd like I'm going to just start over on the right hand side Make sure you backstitch. I can see my fabric is right here for my lining piece. I'm just going to put it underneath so that I don't sew it. We don't want to attach it. quarter of an inch seam allowance and again all I'm doing is I'm prepping this side so I'm taking this piece of fabric um, the lining and I'm just moving it over pushing it out the way Now I'm back at the top and what I want to do again is I need to be careful to push this fabric out of the way. I'm going to fold it underneath. Okay. So from this side, this is what it looks like. You should have a small piece of fabric that is um, just sitting here. There's the zipper. Okay. You do not want to sew this. Okay. All right, we're just sewing the top. I'm gonna remove these pins, this pin right here. Excellent. All right. See? That was the top I was talking about. Okay, so now. So now look, you have a functional pocket here. That's it. You have a functional pocket. Okay, um, I'm not going to clip these corners. It's going to be inside of the bag. Okay, for my own purposes right now. <laughs> um, one part of the lining, pretty side of the lining. I'm just checking here. That's the pretty side. Pretty side of the lining. Your zipper, put my zipper face up, and now I'm going to um, get the either part, it doesn't matter. I'm using the part that has my pocket on it. Hold on. This will drive me crazy right here. I'm just cutting off the very tip <laughs> on the fusible fleece. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put this face down on top of the zipper so that my raw edges are here. Wow, come on. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to pin. And I'm not pinning a lot. I'm just pinning perpendicular um, to the fabric. What I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to sew right across, right across this way, to attach the zipper. Okay. Um, if you needed more pins, add more pins, um, and you'll just be removing them as you go along. Okay. I'm 
just gonna pin this right here just so that it stays um, just so that it stays in place a little better so it's not flopping all over <laughs> okay there we go okay I just decided that I wanted to grab a little piece of scrap <laughs> that I had um, because what I want to do I want to add a little um, tab on the outside right here I just feel like in case you want to hook some keys or something on um, so I, I, ju I just decided to grab a little tiny scrap and I'm gonna make a tab um, for the outside of the bag real quick and I'm going to do that folding in these raw edges okay and just folding it over I'm gonna iron this here just to hold it down this is totally optional you do not need to do this okay um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew down the left and the right sides it's exactly the same way that we just that we did the strap okay I just feel like tabs are like always helpful and useful on on bags I'm not concerned with doing that in because we're going to cut it off. So, all right. And I don't even need it that long. So, um, okay. All right. So, okay. Now I'm just, I'm just going to grab an O-ring. If you want to, doesn't matter. You don't have to. Uh, what color is my zipper here? That's black. Okay. I wanted to make sure um, that I was matching here. Um, I'm just going to slide an O-ring on just in the event that, you know, um, yeah, because I like that like that. Um, just in the event that, you know, I want to hook something on. Okay. Okay. This is how I do it sometimes when I'm sewing, when I don't, you know, when I don't have a specific design in mind. <laughs> I wing it. Okay, so I'm going to base this, baste stitch this on just so that it, I know that it stays. Okay. Base stitch means we're going to put in some temporary stitches. Um, does it matter? Does it need to be perfect? We just want to help keep it attached to another piece of fabric okay because um that's how sometimes I just create and decide that I want to add things all right I like that okay so now what we want to do is we want to fold that over put the lining piece underneath Let's do a top stitch here. We want a top stitch because you see how this is already starting to fold up. If you did not top stitch the top of any bag, um, when you go to open it, what will happen sometimes is that this material can get stuck in your zipper, depending on how close you sewed with your zipper. Oh, I should have said also um, that if you need to change your to your uh, zipper foot when you're putting on a zipper, go ahead and do that. I don't use my zipper foot. Okay. Um, so right now I'm going to put a top stitch right across. Okay. If you need to iron this to flatten it, go ahead. Top stitching makes everything beautiful. Nice. I'm just keeping everything lined up. Go ahead and grab 
Um, the other, grab your other lining, and we want to put that pretty side up. Okay. So lining pretty side up. Get the outer portion of your bag that has um, the zipper attached to it. And what we want to do is place the um, lining fabric. I'll flip it that way. We want to place the zipper right on top of that fabric. Okay. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually just lining up, making sure that everything is lined up there. I turned it around so that you can see it. I'm just lining up those raw edges. Get your strap, okay? And what we're going to be doing at this point is we're going to um, prepare the strap to be attached. Um, but because the strap is long, we wanna make sure that um, you do not curl the strap um, to make sure that it's not twisted, okay? I'm going to line this up <clears throat> so that it goes just above the zipper fabric. Okay, let's let's see. Um, you can put yours in as many you know as far as you would like to. I'm just going to put this in about one inch. The reason for that is because um, my seam allowance I'm going to put about you know anywhere between quarter of an inch and <clears throat> half an inch okay and I just wanted a little bit left from the edge so I'm gonna put it around one inch it might shift a little bit that's fine okay I'm also going to um, this will align better once I lift it up okay but I'm also going to just stick it up a little bit um, about a half an inch up okay so just make sure that you pay attention to both sides, okay? And make sure that your strap is not twisted um, because we're going to roll it up here so that um, it's not hanging out when we're closing up this pouch of this crossbody bag, okay? And now you wanna grab the other portion of your outer fabric, the other piece. And we want to actually put it so that, um, obviously, your pretty side, okay, I have all these random stragglies, <laughs> pretty side is touching the pretty side of that fabric and the actual, and the strap there, okay? I'm going to push that in a little bit, okay? I'm lining up raw edge to raw edge, okay? So when I lift this up, um, the idea is you want again you want this all to be lined up here okay when I pick this up it's obviously going to shift a little bit so I'm going to fix it when I lift it up okay just making sure that when I pin this um, these edges are um, lined up with each other I'm going to pin um, right at my strap so that I make sure that um, I hold on to that um, that strap so it doesn't get lost <laughs> and slip. Because you don't want it to get lost in here and then it gets twisted. Trust me, you don't want that happening. Been there, done that already. <laughs> okay, and again, I am lining up that um, the raw edges of the fabric Okay. Uh, I can't grab it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let me take a look. Make sure. Okay. Everything looks even. My edges look even for right now, which is great. And let me just make sure I didn't twist it. Because, you know, let's be real. Things happen. Okay. <laughs> it looks good. All right. I'm just, um, I'm going to tuck this in here. Um, the magnetic clasp is there. Just going to tuck this in so that it doesn't get in my way. Okay. Flip this back down. We want to attach the zipper 
okay so I'm going to sew right across um, um, the top I'm not going to switch to my zipper foot if you need to switch to your zipper foot go ahead and do that that looks good I'm going to give um, where the straps are I'm going to go back and give it a little bit of extra love but not on that same line I'm going to actually give it um, right inside of that line I'm going to give it um, another stitching just so that um, it ensures that the strap you know is secure we carry heavy things I'd rather it just have extra stitching than for than for it to come off. <laughs> okay, no one sees inside of your bag. <laughs> All right, great. All right, perfect. So right now we want to lay this flat. We want to pull this down a little bit, stretch it down, and we want to put a top stitch right across here. I am going to hit it with the iron just a little bit to help flatten it because I have the, um, the underside right here. We have the, um, we have the strap pieces underneath here as well so it's making it a little thick so i'm going to just give it a little bit um, of heat to help flatten it okay okay and now we're going to top stitch right across to hold it down Okay. okay. So right now all we need to do is close this up. And this is going to be essentially the same way that we do when we do a zipper pouch. But what we need to do is we need to pull in the zipper. Okay, you want to pull it inside. We want to put our pretty sides together only. So go ahead and lift down that lining to make sure that you only have your pretty sides touching each other. Okay. We're gonna pin in several places around. Make sure that your strap is not hanging too low because you don't want to you don't want it to get caught down here and that you sew it in. I've done that as well. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're at the zipper portion. Make sure that your zipper teeth, okay, So we are going to sew, um, we're going to leave a portion at the bottom, okay, in the lining, leave a portion of the bottom open, you know, four fingers is good, you can actually pin, okay, um, I'll pin just for the purposes, no, I won't pin, <laughs> but leave a portion of the lining open, we're going to sew all the way around, okay, give it some extra love when you go over the zipper, all the way down, around, around, over here, this is going to be the, um, the butt um, portion of your zipper, okay? There's the zipper right there. If you're using something smaller, a smaller zipper, be careful. Um, just kind of try to figure out where your butt of the zipper is so that you're, you don't sew over it, okay? But give it some extra love over there all the way around and stop, okay? 
There we go. Before you get to this portion, just make sure your key ring is not um, close to the edge. And so I actually just broke a needle. So, <laughs> uh, how many times do you guys get stabbed when you're sewing? <laughs> okay. I'm going to clip off these corners right here. Clipping the corners, we reduce our bulk. I'm also just going to trim down these seams to reduce bulk as well. Um, if you did your seam allowances only quarter of an inch, by all means, you be the judge and you know figure out, you know, if you want to leave it like that or not. I am gonna go back and um. You know, Clip that side but I am gonna go back I'm not too concerned about the lining I don't like the bulk on the actual bag and so I don't want to feel it when it's flipped okay go ahead stick your fingers in there in through that hole and oh be careful if you still have pins in there <laughs> poke through turn it right side out I'm so scared of sticking myself again because I have poked myself in this project <laughs> you know what I'm actually taking off the pins right now because honestly guys I don't trust myself <laughs> you saw that <laughs> okay and right here <sighs> Okay, got that one. All right, now I'm gonna turn right side out. All right, we're gonna need our iron in just a moment. Of course, for everything. All right, pull that lining out, poke out those corners with your fingers. Do the same thing for the bottom. If you need to get the handy dandy chopstick, go ahead and get that chopstick. You probably should get the chopstick because it's a little thicker down here. Okay. I am going to get my chopstick shortly. Okay. Because I like to see... Um, I like to see nice edges I don't like to see folded edges or curved in and I like to force my chopstick I like to force my seam straight okay oh, this looks like it's like beach bag like beach waves Do you guys remember this fabric if you saw my um, video where I did my daughter's um, I did her a, a sh uh, basket with pockets. This is that same fabric. It looks artsy. I like it. Actually, this bag might, she just might have this bag. <laughs> okay, so we want to close this up. Okay, close it up by um, folding in those raw edges and just top stitching across. Yes, and you want to make sure that you are using, um, you want to make sure that you are using a coordinating thread because you'll see it. All right. Cutting stragglies. All right. What I'm going to do at this time to finish off the project, I'm going to get the iron. 
I like to iron the lining before I put it inside because I don't like to see the marks inside um, when you, you know you see ironing marks. I don't like to see the ironing marks. Okay, and now I'm going to flatten this. Hey, those of you who've seen my other videos, did y'all notice my iron as well? <laughs> and look, because remember, we had a conversation about Black Friday. See, I wanted it on Black Friday. No plug. I love it. All right. Let's see here. If it turned out where your strap got wrinkled, um, this is, like I said, this is um, the outside fabric. So it's... Um, it doesn't wrinkle as easy, but if it turns out if your strap got wrinkled, just go ahead and iron it while you're at it. Okay, and now I'm going to tuck in the lining here. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it. Okay, so we have the inside zipper. Okay, inside pocket. And then we have this pocket. It's deep enough where you can put a phone, you can put different things in there. So you cannot stick a book in there unless you have a small little book. But, and there you are. That's it guys, let's, let's take a look at this, look. So we have the, look, have the inside pocket there with the magnetic snap, okay? And then we already looked inside, but, um. We have the little hanging tab here for hanging of the keys or if you want to make a little um, matching like debit card holder, something or a zipper pouch to go on, um, maybe to go on the outside of it so that it matches. <laughs> okay, um, but that's a cool option. There you are. <laughs> a simple, cool, um, easy to do crossbody bag. <laughs> All right, let me know if you have any questions, okay? But um, in the meantime, 